Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix one of the most common issues that persons may have with with queues. Uh, if you have a router and it was recently, like it was reset to the default setting, and you're configuring your queues on it, and you notice that the traffic that is flowing through your queue is not the actual traffic that is flowing through your router. Uh, there's a easy fix for that. So let me just demonstrate uh, a situation here. So say for instance, you're on a website. All right, so I'm going to do a test. I'm going to download a 100 megabyte file. All right, so just by looking at this queue, you're seeing where it's just a few kilobits per second worth of data passing through. If you check the interface, you see where the interface download speed is 15.6 or so megabits per second. So look at these two. So if you match up the download for both for the 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 interface in terms of the one, the bridge. You see we're 50 megabits um, per second worth of traffic flowing through but for the download for the queue you're not you're not seeing the same same amount of traffic and the reason for this is most of the time by default the router os enables a feature called fast track so fast track what it does is that it bypasses the firewall it bypasses the queues, so it bypasses simple queues, queue tree, and it bypasses most of the routing in order for that traffic to pass through the router much faster. The problem with that is that it affects the queues that most people, the purple, the most most used feature is queues on, on router OS, so it really bypasses that feature. So I'm going to show you how to disable fast track. So you're going to go to IP firewall and if you looking at Mongol rule you see some you're seeing some fast track rules. However, you might think that okay, alright, I can go ahead and delete these. No, you can't. You can't delete them. So you may be wondering how is that I'll be able to remove it. So easy way to do that is to go to filter rules and you're going to see an item that says fast track so the default settings for fast track you're going to remove this remove that setting and you're seeing where a fast track counter you're going to I don't think you can remove this any at all so after removing that one what you're going to do is to restart your router. So I'm going to restart. So I'm going to reboot. Alright, I'm going to reconnect. Alright, now I'm going to go back into the firewall. And no, I'm not seeing any fast track uh, rules going to Mandel and you're seeing where Mandel is now empty so all the fast track rules have, have been removed so let us test to see if this works so I'm going to download back another file so I'm downloading our next file and now you can see I'm going to check about the interface and now you can see that the traffic that is flowing through the interface is almost identical. So now you can see that the queue is now working. So this is how you will fix that issue. I know that it's a very annoying for, especially for beginners. Uh, you set up your first queue and it's just not working and you can't figure it out. So this is the simple fix for that issue. So. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Alright, thank you.